my opinion, I think the best, highest and best use for this particular building would be to create a four unit apartment building, a brand new top of the line, everything is new, chiseled out uh, four unit apartment building uh, in a neighborhood like this would probably run you close to 250K, right? So if you bought it for 50 and you put 150 into it, Obviously, you have a ton of equity in a neighborhood that I think is going to do nothing but gentrify. Because of its location and the just massive, massive amount of funds that are being dedicated to this particular neighborhood, guys, I think it's one of the best neighborhoods you guys can invest in, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. This one, folks, this one I got for you. This is an interesting one, okay? This is a, a blank slate, so to speak, okay? 3357 West 46, right? Uh, this is over there in the Clark Fulton neighborhood. Hop, skip, and a jump away from Metro Health, right, y'all? Anybody who watches Holton Wise TV regularly hears me talk about Metro Health, right? I usually actually refer to the Clark Fulton neighborhood as the Metro Health neighborhood because I love it because Metro Health, in my opinion, is the most important thing uh, that investors need to know when they invest in that market. The reason Metro is so important to investors, folks, is because they have committed over a billion, that is B like boy, over a billion dollars of investment capital uh, to both their campus and the surrounding neighborhood affordable housing. I believe that because of that, as well as its uh, proximity to other gentrified neighborhoods, the hot neighborhoods, Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square, Edgewater, et cetera, uh, even downtown, right? Because of its location and the just massive, massive amount of funds that are being dedicated to this particular neighborhood, guys, I think it's one of the best neighborhoods you guys can invest in, right? So location is sweet uh, on this particular building. So I find that to be quite interesting. The building itself, though, it, you know, it's it's almost 5,000 square foot, right? It's 4,860 square foot, but you got to put the whole thing back together, right? It's it's a bombed out building. Uh, it, it was like a, a, at one point a bar on the main floor and like a few apartments. Uh, from my understanding, talking to the owner, uh, I believe there was a fire back in the day. Obviously, you can see from the footage, like, you know, you see the aftermath, the wreck, the carnage. It's just, you know, totally messed up, right? It's essentially a blank slate. But uh, he did put a new roof on there, and he's got the outside looking pretty decent, right? So what you guys need to do is you need to completely redevelop the building. My opinion, I think the best, highest and best use for this particular building would be to create a four-unit apartment building. Uh, I'm very privy uh, and in love with four-unit apartment buildings. I'm privy to how great they are. Uh, as investment vehicles, I have a ton of four unit buildings in my personal portfolio. And I like them so much because the financing is so great. Obviously, you cannot buy this building today with financing. It's a bombed out uh, monstrosity, right? You got to buy it cash. But when you go to refi out your money, folks, if you get a four unit apartment building, you can get residential financing, which is sweet because it's 30 year fixed interest, only 25% down. Plus, uh, being that it's almost 5,000 square foot, you're going to have four apartments that are going to be over 1,000 square foot. So we're going to get big rents, man. I think 850 is a conservative estimate for what the rents would be today as the neighborhood currently sits. It's like a D-grade neighborhood. But I told you I love this particular D-grade neighborhood because of all that good stuff that's happening based on Metro Health, the gentrification, things of that nature. So one day uh, in the near future, I anticipate the value of fully renovated brand new apartments to be much higher when this neighborhood gentrifies, if it gentrifies. Do I know for sure if it will or will not? No. But if I'm going to bet on a neighborhood to gentrify, I'm betting on the one that's getting a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but again, this is going to be for seasoned developers, people that are, uh, you know, essentially people that know what they're doing, right? If you're a brand new rookie, uh, even though the building is cheap, I do not think that it is a good idea for you to like make your first investment into a building that you completely need to build essentially, right? You have to build everything inside the four walls, folks. Uh, budget wise, uh, everybody's going to have their own budget. So uh, what I think the best thing for you guys to do 
uh, would be if you're interested in this, send us an email and we will get you inside of the building so you could uh, go there with your contractor or if you're a contractor yourself and put together your scope of work. Uh, just looking at it, I, I think you're looking at at least 150 k right, to put something together here. I think you're looking at at least $150,000 to go from where you're at right now to a four-unit apartment building. But, you know, you could have another idea. You might want to do something different. Hell, I don't know. Maybe you want to make it a bar again. It's already commercially zoned, so you can do that too. Uh, but like me looking at it through the lens of a real estate developer, uh, rental property owner, landlord, property manager, et cetera, uh, I see the value here as a four unit building. And I think you're looking at at least 150 K, right? Uh, but a brand new top of the line, everything is new, chiseled out uh, four unit apartment building uh, in a neighborhood like this will probably run you close to 250 K, right? So if you bought it for 50 and you put 150 into it, Obviously, you have a ton of equity in a neighborhood that I think is going to do nothing but gentrify. So I think a uh, solid deal, but obviously it's going to be for the right buyer. So if you are that buyer and you want to make your cash offer, send that to sales at holtonwise.com. Just send us an email with how much you want to offer and uh, include your proof of funds. The seller of this building is is very motivated to, to get rid of this building. Uh, it's currently obviously uh, a hassle for them and it's obviously not in the position to create any type of income for them, right? So it's doing nothing but uh, costing them money. So they would like to move on from this building quicker rather than later. That said, they're not willing to give it away though, right? So uh, shoot those offers. Sales at HoltonWise.com. And again, if you want to get in there, we will get you in the building. Use caution uh, when you're in there, obviously. We don't need you dying uh, on the building. Although, that would make for some pretty sweet HoltonWise TV content if you were to die. Uh, so I guess I'll make sure we're filming all tours. We might need to film the tours. I would be so upset if we did a tour with someone and then they died and then my guys didn't get it on film. Like, oh, dude, I would have to fire them at that point. They'd be like, James, good news, bad news. Uh, somebody died today, uh, but we didn't get it on film. And then I, I'd have to fire them because, you know, I mean, that, that would be like several million views, I would imagine. That would be nice. So oh, this is getting dark and demented. I don't, I don't know where. We don't want anybody to die at the building is the moral of the story. Because, again, my guys probably wouldn't film it, and I'd have to fire them. And then I'd have to hire a new guy. That would be terrible, folks. So let's not do any of that, and let's just use extreme caution uh, when we are touring the building so none of that happens. And then, uh, you know, we don't have to exploit your death in a clickbait manner <laughs> on YouTube or TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but seriously, though, uh, back to where we're at, guys. For the right investor who's got the right plan, there's big money here. But again, lots and lots and lots of work needs to go into this sucker. So let us know if you're interested. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.